An investor, a, tele, a telecom operator, also wants to invest. What is he looking for? Um, it's actually it's it's a very interesting thing, and I think I think the the, the deal sort of illustrates what uh, some people have mentioned here before already. Um, there are huge opportunities out there. I think Mr. Ellison was looking at a company, um, Sun Microsystems, and thinking they own Java. Mm -hmm. um, I run my entire middleware on Java. Um, they own MySQL, an open source platform, the fastest growing database out there on the internet. Um, what if one of my competitors buys it? That could put me in a nasty situation. So I think he rushed out and bought it himself. Um, so from that point of view, it's a defensive deal and that is going to create a lot of opportunities um, for a company like Oracle. And I'm sure there's plenty of more deals out there like that. Um, I think it shows that for a company that has a vision, um, and equally importantly, obviously, the financial means, um, there are huge opportunities. And I think within the telecom space as well, on the operator side, um, there are similar opportunities in next generation networks to be made right now. Um, if, if, if we look back, I mean, we've talked about the crisis. Are we through it? I don't think so. How long will it last? I don't think anybody really knows. Um, but we have had crises before in the past. Uh, we always climbed out of them. Um, and if, if so, you look so you, at... You would, you would agree with, with that uh, Marshall Plan, as you told here in this morning? Well, I mean, if, if you look at um, the big plans after the, the last huge crisis in the 1930s, um, we had a Marshall Plan. Um, and we had huge infrastructure investment in the United States. But back then, uh, President Hoover decided to build a big dam and create hydroelectricity um, to invest in transport infrastructure. Those were new things back then. He didn't decide to bail out the horse cart industry, um, which would have been uh, the legacy uh, way to, to sort out. He had the vision and, and the audacity to invest for the future. And I think he laid the framework for the roaring 60s, 30 years down the road. And I think we face the same opportunity here with next generation networks. Um, but we have to make it a concerted effort. Um, I think when we get out of this crisis, I don't say if, I think I say when we get out of this crisis, one thing needs to be clear. Um, we are coming out of 20 years of financial bubble. And that bubble is not coming back. And the credit bubble is not coming back. So money is more expensive today. It will continue to be more expensive than it was the last 10, 15 years. 